<laughs> Good morning, February 5, 2017. Ito unang 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 Bible school in the morning. Ngayong February 5 on ministry and outreach. Ito ang um, Kaya ang mga kinahin namin, ang mga kinahin namin, Pao, kaya si Eric, so, we're Hey, sit there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so we're discussing uh, the uh, important issue on outreach ministry. Kita ba kayo yan? For four ten na konte para watch ahead. Watch ahead, watch ahead. All right. So, what uh, what this entails is a very important you know, differentiation on those words outreach and ministry. Matthew chapter twenty five. The uh, whenever I hear of of preachings or uh, Lessons, teachings on uh, on 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 ministry and outreach. It's always, it's almost always connected to evangelism. All right. When we hear the word ministry or outreach, it's almost always connected to evangelism. Nothing wrong with that. That's okay. It's fine. Okay. Uh, we're all commanded to reach out and evangelize and show That's okay. No problem with that. But we also have to, to understand what Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 25. Uh, talking about uh, talking to his disciples once again. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the different uh, uh, life situations that Jesus Christ mentions to his disciples. Verse 25, chapter 25, verse 35. <laughs> Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Matthew 25, 34, Father, you bless of my father, he carried the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you brought me. I was sick, and visited me. I was in prison, you came to me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and fed you, or thirsty and gave you drink? When did you see you a stranger and you in, or naked and clothed you? When did we see you sick, or in prison and came unto you? And the king shall answer unto you. Verily, verse 14. And the king shall answer and say unto how do you explain that part? How do you understand that? It's a very familiar verse. How do you understand that personally? If you do kindness to other people, you also do kindness, the power of kindness to Jesus. But there's actually a, uh, uh, a component of giving something, showing kindness. You're not just showing kindness that you're being kind and you're not you're not fighting people. You know, because not fighting people is being kind to them. But just being kind to them and not doing something like giving something. Because it there's an, uh, a component of giving something. The stranger and you brought me in your house. I was sick and you visited me. Right? I was hungry, you fed me, thirsty you gave. There's a, an element of an of uh, what's that? There's, a, there's an action. Action. Giving. Giving action. Okay. You know, there's a giving action. So, um, 
it's interesting. We we can talk uh, we can talk about a lot of uh, things about this, but most of the time I just wanted to say that uh, when it comes to ministry and outreach, Matthew twenty five is very seldom mentioned. Same. Yeah. Almost always, which is okay. It's not bad. It's just uh, not enough. I'd say. Like uh, two days ago, Friday, uh, uh, Thursday night, when Jay and Jimmy was were here, I think it was Thursday night, doing it for Daylight Church, we were talking, and then they said, you know what? We have learned from Hillcrest, and not to take any credit, but we have learned from Hillcrest that we need to give slippers or flip flops to, to the kids of our ministry. We need to, to give them food. We need to not care for them. Um, and they said, uh, from the church organization that we are, that, that they took off, they said they're actually influencing now the, the top leaders because they're seeing it on Facebook. But they're actually doing an act of kindness, giving something. So that the wife of Pastor Valerio, uh, uh, Carlo Valerio, because Pastor Carlo Valerio came to Destiny Church, and you parang head leader in the church. Your wife, Pastor Carlo Valerio, said that, you know, I've been seeing her at home. And we're being challenged. I think we also want to do it. Because I'm saying, Jen, most of the time, if not all the time, yung G12 as a concept, if you go through their lessons, and I, I have a copy of their lessons, and I taught them G12 when they were, they were doing here for two years. It's all about sitting down, understanding the Word of God, sitting down, and uh, being accountable to your, to your teacher, leader, to that. There was something I really no no have any change. Uh, not much or probably sometimes no. Uh, as a group, we'd say we're we're a group of people. Let's go out and feed somebody. Let's give them drink, let's give them food, let's give them almost, almost have any change, but I'm gonna and this new leader nila and I influence it don't dream like the one of the same because we have to have inside us here which is why because when we started this church we focused on that. We did focus on that. And that's one of the main reasons why we did not have home Bible study. We're just doing it now. Can you imagine after nine years? Um, Pastor Eric Cortez, I don't know if you met him at the IGS, I just graduated. Pastor Eric Cortez uh, uh, was here with his crew. One year, I don't know, one summer, I don't know, one year, one summer to, to help out with ministry. I think it was called. It's called Tamiya Tai or something. Uh, for summer now. Oh, yes. And so Pastor Eric was here um, along with seven uh, IJSL students back in 2009. Ang unang unang sabi ni Pastor Eric sa akin, Pastor, anong, ano what's our, our, our schedule for these two months of summer? So I gave him schedule. Sa to internet usually, if I have it, mabaga, may hapa, may good gabi. Tapos sabi ko, meron tayong feeling dito. Sabi ko sa akin, Noon to ha, sabi sa amin. Kasi ang home Bible study. So he was expecting like Friday night, like, home Bible study ko ito, home Bible study ko doon. Wala ang home Bible study. Sabi ko, oh, chino wala. Sabi ko, kami ang akin. O dami na kasi nangyayari ito. Sabi ko, so hindi kami nakasend ang pangit, you know. Dahil kung mag-home Bible study ko tayo, ang pangit na pangit. After church year, sabi mo, ito pa, mag-home Bible study ko. You know. So we, we would rather encourage our people to come to church every night. No, you know, instead of them. And then you can say, and one of the main reasons is that I saw it in all church plans, it all begins with Bible studies, which is okay. You know, it's fine, it's fine. But then, but kaya natin talaga doon na na focus, at nakalimutan natin yung, yung kindness, action, yung something that you give out. We will miss on 50% of what Jesus Christ wants. So that's why I'm saying in this uh, first Sunday of Outreach and Ministry, most of the time, when we talk about this subject in churches, it almost always concerns evangelism. Okay, I just talk about it, but I need to stop now. It's very clear that Jesus Christ really specifically said, clothing, food, drink, 
visit the, 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 the sick, uh, go to prison. We, we may probably just also go to prison, you know, just complete the, the task. But my point is the emphasis of Hillcrest, and that's, what, that's the main reason why, why we did the Bible school. If the emphasis of Hillcrest is this outreach ministry. I say people will transfer the Hillcrest from other churches. We, we seldom, or probably not, don't have anybody who was transferred from to Hillcrest from <laughs> neighboring churches. I don't have anything in my mind that, that we still have. You know, like Eric from Tanyas, at the show you're with me, we got them over here that was nice. Oh my goodness! Oh my God! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So Jack, I'll be that. Oh yeah. Oh picture. You don't want to get that again. You don't want to get that again. You don't want to get that again. You don't want Sabi ko pa kaya pa kaya pa kaya Nine years ago, now, we uh, we started with that with that in mind. Two thousand eight pictures, yeah, the Venetian. So they got for something like that, right? Actually, we began with that mind. But again, we want something that would not only reach out to uh, church people but also to non church. Two thousand eight. Maybe. That's the thing, eh? So if you think about it. Pwede siyang maging ano eh, pwede siyang maging uh, idea on, ano, idea on, on, on outreach. If you think that way, yung nga eh, kaya many, many times, uh, many, many times, when we, uh, when we start the, the church, ano yan, 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 ano yan,
is, is really a big part. I mean, you know, that's everything. That's why we're doing it. Now, um, we also have to be careful about just doing this and I'm just doing clothing the I know the naked and basically shake it. Why? <coughs> because if we don't know we don't have a reason why we're doing that, then we become NGOs, non government organizations. We, we become charitable uh, institutions. We, we become uh in the end, Rotary Club. So we become those groups. And the reason why they're doing that is because they want to help, period. Pero sa ating kasi, that's just a part of, of what we're doing, why we're doing it. First step. No, diba? Yeah, first step. It's good. Kasi nga, good job siya eh. Diba? When did Jesus feed 5,000? By John chapter 6, when he, the disciples wanted the people to go home. So Jesus said, no, 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 we're not sending them home. <laughs> after these things, after his teachings, Jesus went over the sleep gallery, and a great multitude, chapter 6 of John, followed him because they saw his miracles. And Jesus went up to a mountain there he sat with his disciples. When Jesus lifted up his eyes, verse 5, chapter 6, he saw a great company come unto him. Then he said to Philip, where do we buy bread that these may eat? Like in the young, where do we buy bread? There's a lot of people, where do we buy bread? And this he said to try him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered, 200 denarii's worth of bread, or one year of salary. So one year of salary is a minimum wage in the Philippines, 12,000 a month. One year would be about uh, 120, 140,000. A year, oh, 140,000 worth is not enough. Uh, that every one of them may eat a little. Verse 8 One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said, There is a lamb, there's a boy, but five loaves and two split fish, but are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. There was much rest in the place, and the number was about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves, and told the story, gave thanks, and distributed to the disciples. Likewise, the fish as much as they would. So, in this year, parang, it's not uh, as if uh, they had just a small piece of fish, as much as they would. Verse 11. When they were all failed, he said to his disciples, Gather up the, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, the remains. Yeah. <laughs> the remains. The remains. Nothing left for them. You see, there was a story that's a joke about that remains. Um, I mean, went to the restaurant and, uh, and then they had some left over. And uh, the guy brought it to the uh, waiter and said, uh, and that's not it was his daughter's. Uh, can, uh, can you, uh, uh, can, you uh, can you put in a thing up uh, the remains of my daughter? I am. Yes. 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 <coughs> Philip, specifically Philip. Then he said, the question is, where do we buy bread? So the question is a location of a store or probably a place where they get the market. Location. Philip answered him, not a location, but money issue. Aren't we very, very concerned with that also? <laughs> God knows. God knows. <laughs> God will take care of the money issue. But our, what we have to, 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 to think about and to, to discover is where do we buy bread? But whenever I, I ask Liza, Liza, uh, no. I ask Liza, 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 I ask 
Where do we buy bread? Diba? You should have asked her, by Eva. So that's the situation. Jesus asked Philip, where do we buy bread? Philip said, no, not even the year's salary would be sufficient that everybody would take it. So I was going to Jesus and say, yeah. No, I was not asking for money. I was asking for where. Who answered the question where? Andrew. I found bread here. And so I said, Jesus says, where do we buy bread? Buy it, buy it. So you think Jesus could probably... It probably, uh, Philip had a few coins in his pocket. You know? Uh, Lord, uh, I know a place where we can buy bread. This is the only few coins I have. You know, Jesus Christ would probably have had, uh, no, uh, maybe uh, not. You know? oh. <laughs> Jesus, thank you for these uh, coins. <laughs> oh, uh, that's the best of money. <laughs> so, little bit, you know? So, if you see the that aspect, you understand now that we're reading it. But when we're in that situation, we always, Almost always we act the same way as Philip was. But God, we don't have money. God, we don't have this, we don't have that. Did I show you a check? It's in my it's in my bag. <coughs> no, no. You can have that. I've seen a bit in the financial group. I'll go with the news. I'll tell you this story. Last Friday, <coughs> well, Thursday night. Yeah. Remember, we talked about Job here. I think it was Thursday or Wednesday when we were here. I think Wednesday, we were talking about the last of all. Thursday. Thursday, okay. So, we oh, say, who will pay the labor of the workers? They say, we've already paid all for the materials. We don't have any money for, for money for the labor. Sabi did Job? Are we going to Job? You pay for the labor. Everybody gives up, you know, it's jobbing. So we all, because Ever was not there, so we all called Ever. Because Ever said that he would, you know, he would uh, give. I don't know, Pastor John, Pastor John said, no, we cannot uh, expect him to do that. And we say, oh, that else have needs. We don't know how much money he has. So I said, I'll take care of it. When do we need it? Pastor John said, tomorrow, Friday. Friday. It's a gift. We have it Friday. Um, uh, Thursday, but I have them all Wednesday. Friday, you want? 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 So Wednesday, you want? Friday, you want? Friday, you want? So they need the money by Friday. I said Friday noon. What we say? Okay, I'll take care of it. <coughs> the following day. Monday <coughs> doesn't know this yet. The following day, Thursday afternoon. Um, Christine Ann. Remember Christine? You know him. Christine, the Chinese guy. Basket he did yen. You don't know, probably know. You know. Okay. Christine Ann. He will be the one who will, uh, will be our resource speaker for the singles and uh, for the singles uh, night. Singles night. But, yeah. Are you single? Yes. I'm going to say that because of Christine. That is Christine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, to make a long story short, that we we visited somebody when we were skiing. Went to visit somebody Thursday afternoon. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, I first asked for uh, money. I don't know. Uh, I asked money from the cafe. That's a three thousand yuan. Yung pay diamond dun sa nai. We need three thousand for the labor. Para one thing, five hundred silang three days. Tapos I asked money from the cafe. I said, "Yo, pay me three thousand." I asked three thousand. That morning on Friday, from the cafe, I went there and I put it in an envelope. 
3,000 cash. And I gave it to the Pasquale and then So, tapos na, no? No, after that, that afternoon, we visited somebody who's been myself. Di ba, mami? Pag sa isopuan, when I got out of the car, uh, tapos ang tapos at pala, nang libre ako ng ano, yung mga nating England, kami Canada, in England, Australia. <coughs> they were so happy. And it was Thursday. When I had time with them, yeah, it was Thursday. Yeah, it was Thursday. Yeah. It's a birthday, I'm sure, in that night. Diba? Yung after a long, in a sound title. Yeah. Okay. Tapos, <laughs> tapos pinakain mo sila. Alam mo, gulat na gulat yung mga missionaries. Kasi they weren't expecting to eat. And uh, Lucy said, from England, she said, you know, you're not past that. For example, um, we were really, you know, starving. They, they were very hungry. They were thinking to eat, but they did not have a, a budget for that day. And then I saw them, and then I fed them. So they were very happy. So that's enough. That's a list. That's a good time. So Friday, after giving 3,000 to the worker, I went to the car. Christine, when I got to the car, Christine went to the car. Christine gave me an envelope. You know what she said to me? Please, she said to me, use this for anything you need. Oh, thank you, Christine. But it was a check. So, I told you, I don't know how much. I put it in the middle. Then we put it in the middle. We put it in the middle. The following day, I forgot about the envelope. I forgot about the envelope. Until this morning, in the in the house, and I brought the bag to the party. I got the envelope, and the envelope has a set family or of cash, five thousand pesos. Di ba na? So pay you three thousand, pay you pinakain ko don because it's over. I'm going to buy it sa pinto ko. Di ba? See that the point is, did I expect this to be me? No. But you know that wanted this to happen, that to happen, that. So the problem of cash is not a problem with cash. I'm a fast teacher. I'm not going to push it. So the problem of cash, okay, or the money. The problem of cash of finances is not our problem. Can we say that? Can we say that again? Not our problem. I will say this again. The problem of finances is not our problem. I will take a video of myself. I'll find that. The problem of finances. Let's say it all together. Let's say it all together. That's a memory verse to this morning. One, two, three. The problem of finances is not our problem. Amen. It's a problem of God. That's a problem of God. The problem of finances is not a problem. John chapter 6, Jesus Christ was not asking him to look for money. He said, where do we buy bread? He said, we don't have money. I'm asking you to wear. Wrong answer. That's the point there. When we do ministry and outreach, ang inis tayo palagi, pera. Oo nga. Ano nga sa This is the best for our thing today. That's the reason why, why are we, when we do ministry and outreach, we just focus on evangelistic and Bible study and not. Why? Because you don't pay anything for that. Libre lang, libre. Libre lang eh. But it's when you feed people. Yes. Diba? Diba? When you give something to people. So, I think, I just think, this will not be in the book, but I just think that one of the main reasons why churches, when it comes to ministry and outreach, it will be 90% Bible study. Why? 